Well, the purpose of this video is to address something that's interested me a lot lately. I was uh, researching the Namco G-Con 45, which is also known as the Namco Guncon light gun controller. On Wikipedia, and interestingly, it stated that the video game Galaxian 3 worked with it. That's the GCOM 45, and I thought, that's interesting. Does, does this game actually work with light gun controllers? Especially since Galaxian 3 was released quite some time before Time Crisis, or the GCOM 45 was even made commercially available. Well, pulling the trigger did skip the FMV. Well, hitting the B button did confirm the mission. Although the game didn't give me an option to calibrate my aim, like Time Crisis or Point Blank did. Right, pressing A is like the start button. And pressing the trigger actually cancels that. And pressing trigger again that also cancels that as well. Um, Alright. How do I get to the options then? Okay. Well, I'm going to try plugging in a normal controller. Just a uh, regular one of these into the second player 2 pool. As Galaxian 3 was a multiplayer game, so I believe that all, all controllers will be active in all menus. Well, it's only registering the controls for Gunner 2, but it doesn't recognise anything in Port 1, despite is it. It looks like the trigger is acting like the circle button on the controller, which is used for exiting a menu. Controller 2 and hit the B button on the light gun, I can access the menu. There seems to be partial support, but it's like I can't calibrate it. Maybe there's no calibration because maybe it's got some decent working defaults. So I'd be very surprised if that was actually so. Well, maybe we should just play a game and just. just Go for it. So we'll be looking at the red cross hair. It doesn't seem to be moving around with my gun's aim. No, it doesn't seem to be. So can I hold it further away? There's no response. Where are you 
I can actually see the crosshair is actually jiggling a bit, but it's it's not responding to my actual actions. I can fire using the trigger. So if anything falls within my aim, I can actually blast it. You can see that I'm scoring a bit here. But I can't actually move my aim here. I press the B button. It blasts. Pressing the A button pauses. I can actually use player 2 to select options. Even though player 2 is not actually active in this current game that we're playing. Uh, let's hit the button again. B. So pressing the B button fires my cannon. Now approaching the enemy battleship. And holding the trigger also blasts away things. I'm pressing the B button, but whatever I'm doing, I cannot end. If I stand about Standing about eight or six feet away from the screen now. I'm standing about seven foot away from the screen and nothing often has changed on my own. Whether I'm firing with the B button or the trigger. Now I am now holding down the B button and the trigger, but it's not giving me double point. I'd like to say that this game has partial light support, but it seems as if the developers are more interested. Okay, so that's so. But we also understand that before Namco released the light gun, Konami also did their own light gun as well. The Konami Hyper Blaster, which is also known as the Justifier in North America. And I think we should give the Justifier a try. Yeah, so if I just unplug the video while my system is on and live, because I'm quite the mad scientist. Take the light gun out. Go to main menu with controller 2. And then we can just plug in Konami's light gun, which doesn't have the hassle of adding a yellow plug. We just put it straight into controller port 1. So that the rest is history. Right. Trigger doesn't respond. Well, it looks like the auxiliary button responds. I just hit this little thumb trigger at the back of the light gun, and it's it's activate, activating a new game. Trigger does. Go plus open Bs. I can enter a game by hitting the start button on there. I can't cancel my entry. I can't cancel my entry like I can with the regular controller. So I just hit the start button to continue. Just like the A button on the GCOM 45. Cancelling can be done with the thumb trigger. I can also thumb trigger. Making a rapid descent. 
attack the cannons of the enemy battleship. Alright, let's go back to the main menu of controller 2. And see if the options menu will um, see if there is a light gun in port 1, or any controller for that matter. But again, now I think it's only partial light gun support. No, it only sees the controller for gunner 2, even though my light gun is indeed functioning. So that answers that question. The PAL version of Galaxy 3 has partial light gun support, but it's broken. There's no calibration options and there's no way you can change your aim. You can just fire and that's it. You are literally in a fixed position at all time. And it is true indeed for both the Konami Hyper Blaster and the MKG Convoy 5. Thank you for watching this.